everybody, Mr. Bucko back again. We're going to do a couple of examples from Section 4.1 in Algebra where we're finding percents. Um, changing words to equations and solving equations involving percents. So first example I would like to do says we have 7% of what number is 91? And if you ask me what 7% of what number is 91, I have no idea what that is off the top of my head. But I can figure it out, and I'm going to figure it out using algebra. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all these, this sentence into a math equation. And I'm going to do that, and it's going to look like this. I have 0 0.07, or 0 0.07, times x equals 91. These two things here say the same exact thing. It's just that this is an equation. And all of these things correspond to something in the sentence, and that's what we're going to address right now. The 7%, if you change a percent to a decimal, you get 0 0.07. So that 7% comes from or goes to 0 0.07, because this is 7% as a number or as a decimal. The times, it doesn't say anything about multiply in here, but this word of when we're dealing with percents, and percents of numbers, of means to multiply. So this of corresponds to the multiply. That's what that means. Then we have what number? Well, we don't know what number. And we, when we don't know what number in math, we use a variable, and that variable is x. So in this case, the what number is the x. And then we have this is. Is in math means equals. 2 plus 2 is 4. 7% of what number is 91, is is the equal sign. And then the 91 is just 91. It's already a number, you can put that into an equation just as it is. So now we have 0 0.07 times x equals 91, and now we have an algebraic equation to solve. We have to solve for x. We want to find out what number. Here it is right here, so we're going to use algebra. And since we are multiplying both sides by 0 0.07, we are going to then divide both sides by 0 0.07. And that will cancel out the 0 0.07s on the left-hand side, leaving us with just x. And then we have 91 divided by 0 0.07. Now again, I don't know what 91 divided by 0 0.07 is off the top of my head. So grab your calculator and you will find that x is equal to 1,300. So we can then say that 7% of 1,300 is 91. Another example, what percent of 160 is 38.4? Notice we're using the same type of language. Things are a little bit mixed up as opposed to the last problem, but the same things will still follow. So what percent of 160 is 38.4? The equation we get from this is x times 160 equals 38.4. Notice the first thing says what percent. Well, we don't know what percent. And when we don't know what percent or what number, we're going to use a variable. So we get x. Once again, there's that of. And the of means multiply. So I'll go back and say, well, 1 percent is, or what percent is the x. Now onto the of. The of means multiply, so that's where that little multiply symbol comes from. 160, 160 as a number in math terms is 160. The is is equals, and the 38.4 is 38.4. So we've transferred this sentence into a mathematical equation, and now we're going to solve for x. And if we have x times 160 equals 38.4, we want to isolate x or get x alone, solve for x. And on the left-hand side, we're doing x times 160. The opposite of times 160 is divided by 160. So if we divide both sides by 160, we will get our answer. And we'll get x is equal to 0 0.24. And the 0 0.24 comes from 38.4 divided by 160. Now, once again, I don't know what 38.4 divided by 160 is. So take out a calculator, and you'll get this. This, however, is not our answer. It's the answer to the equation, but it's not the answer to the question because it says what percent. This number is not a percent. This is a decimal. And if we can point, if we convert 0.24 into a de into a percent from a decimal to a percent, we get 24 percent. So the answer to this question is 24 percent, and we get that from solving the equation.